Good morning, my YouTube subscribers. Um, I'm here just to uh, show you guys my uh, setups for when the snow drops and, well, stops dropping and the ice, like, goes away so I can start fishing on my uh, girlfriend's pond or somewhere as I'm hoping to get my fishing license tomorrow. I have a going in for job interview tomorrow, too. And, well, anyways, I just want to get to my rods real quick. But, uh... Right now I have my spinning rod, my Shakespeare spinning rod that I used all last summer. I put some uh, 20 pound Power Pro braided line on it and I have that hooked up with the, uh, let me get him off the eye real quick. I have it with the KVD Sexy Frog Leopard. I'm going to be using this when the snow stops and the ice melts. Hopefully he'll bring me in some good ones. I'm really hoping I get this job too so I can get myself a better video camera. I'm looking at getting a uh, GoPro Hero. I just want the first one, not none of the other ones because yeah. But uh, then my next rod, I only have two rods right now. My next rod is my 7 foot ugly stick. It's medium action. Uh, 8 to 20 LB. Well, 8 to 20 pound line. I have the. I have a lipless crankbait on here that I got from Tackle Junkie. And I'm hoping to, to rip some bass into the shoreline. And that's what it looks like. Let me get my finger out of the way real quick. There you go. I have it that. It's got a rattle inside of it too, which is really cool. I was going through my stuff yesterday and came across Tim. forgot that I had him. And I've been looking up uh, spring reviews on what I should use for fishing. And a lot of people use the lipless. So I'm going to try the lipless for a bit. So I'm hoping that works. And for the reel I'll be using, I have the Abu Garcia Black Max version 2. I got the second edition. I got this for Christmas, which I will probably be doing a review on this after I fish with it. So I can give you guys how, well, how it works and how, it, and what are the pros and cons of it. Here you go. But yeah, I have that paired up with a Zebco 15 pound monofelent line. And... I got a whole bunch of this line, that's why I threw it on here, and I did a pretty good decent amount it looks like. I'll be doing a video on how I spooled this up, because it's got a wiffle spool, and I'll do a video on how I spooled it up later on, when I'm, because I'm looking at getting uh, some fluorocarbon possibly, or braid for this too, because I want to turn this into a frog and rod too, and just keep doing frogs or Texas rigging and drop shots and jigs. I just want to be able to do everything without worrying because I know after a while braid does sink when it gets wet so I don't mind that I mean as long as I can fish I'm pretty happy but yeah um anyways I have this uh, Zebco line on here it's 15 pound monofelon and I got some real magic so I can get out the uh, the memory in the line so that'll help a lot and like I said I'll do a review on this for you guys because I haven't found anyone doing a review on this. Like, a good review, like an actual good explanation review. Like, you get people saying, oh, yeah, this is a good rod, or reel, but I haven't went out and used it yet. I want to go out and use it, and then I'll give you guys a review. I already have a video of me cleaning it. That's up to, like, 100 and something, you know, like, 200 views. And I just want to keep you guys up to date on how this reel works and how it performs out there. And I'm hof hopefully in a few weeks or so, I'll be getting stuff from Philly. I'm not in no big rush from him from winning that thing because I have this stuff already set to use. I'm going out tomorrow to get my fishing license. And yeah. Um, another thing I'd like to say real quick is I would like to say uh, I hit 67 YouTube subscribers. Apparently I'm doing something good. I don't know if I'm doing anything bad or if I'm doing anything good, but I'm sitting at 67 subscribers. I was at 
11 when I started, and that's because I just had a few friends that subscribed to me. But yeah, I've been talking to uh, Team Rippin' Lips a lot, Philly Bassin a lot, and Tackle Junkie 81 a lot. Like I said, I got a lot of my hard baits from him from winning a giveaway, and I'd like to thank him a lot. Like, ow, I just hooked myself. But uh, I'd like to thank him a lot because he has given me so much more stuff to use this summer. Um, hopefully getting a job so I could buy another thing I want to get. I'm um, going to keep that a mystery. I want to do some other stuff, too, when I get a job. Like, there's a few other stuff I want to buy. Like, I see some Tackle Warehouse orders coming in eventually. So, yeah. Um. Anyways, I'd like to say uh, thanks for watching. This is my two rods that I have set up right now for uh, fishing when spring hits. Can't wait to get out and fish. Um, I'm also thinking about switching my uh, YouTube channel name to something else because... Little Sparse Mac was from when I played RuneScape, and yes, I played RuneScape a lot. I was a a nerd when I was on the computer. Still am at times, but yeah. Now that I got into fishing, it's definitely changed a lot for me. So, anyways, I'd like to say uh, see you guys and have a good day. And thanks again for all the subscribers. I can't thank you guys enough. I can't believe I'm at 67. I mean, it's like wow. I, I'm I'm getting up there. But yeah, um, see you guys. Thanks for watching, and good luck out on the water. And thanks to Philly Bassin and Team Rip and Lips and Tackle Junkie for all the help that they gave me or are still giving me on stuff. And I'm really hoping to get this job tomorrow. So um, I like to say see you guys, and have a good day.